Hello, I'm Eric with Nero Road Van Conversions. This is Jared, he's the craftsman on this build. Normally we're bringing you a brand new van that's custom built. Today we're going vintage. We rebuilt a 1991 Ford Coachman and why don't you come on in and have a look around. So starting in the front of the build, we reutilized the existing bed structure. It's a relatively simple, it slides out, unroll your mattress, and then it locks in place. Very efficient use of space in the van, and it keeps the bed out of the way and collapses obviously. Um, our next feature is we did a simple water system on this. Um, the customer didn't really want anything too fancy, so it's a simple stainless sink with a hand pump. The gray water and fresh water are both stored within the cabinet below. Very simple system, but very effective. We've got our normal ball catches here that hold the doors closed and drawers. So there's a, uh, a flip up here that we've installed at work height. The customer wanted a lot of seating in this van, so we've installed benches on both sides of the van. Um, this little bench is actually sitting right above the original uh, generator box, so it's rather shallow, but still we try to utilize every inch of the space that we can. Right here we have our 12-volt Everchill refrigerator. We really like it for their efficiency um, and just overall quality and price. Um, and above the fridge we have a cabinet designed for food storage. This is also designed for food storage or just general storage. And below we have a wardrobe closet. Up in the ceiling we have a 110 outlet so the customer can charge his phone while he's sleeping. Um, drawer here we've got LED lights. We reutilize an existing roof vent on the on the van. And to our most rear we have a max air fan. Um, to the driver's side rear is another bench. Um, this bench is our electrical box. We've got two battleborn batteries, a solar charger an alternator charger and short power charger. And back in here we have some storage. And then the other bench is more storage as well. There are many existing features of the van we didn't want to tear out so we simply boxed around them. Yeah one of the things I like is the length of this bench. How long is it? It's nearly six feet. Yeah that's nice so somebody could actually lay a mattress on there and it's an extra place to sleep there. Somebody could sleep in the aisle if they wanted to also. You could also probably put a table here for future use back here and there could be a, a drop down table in there also. Tell us a little bit about the woodwork in here. Um, the woodwork is cedar, um, slightly aromatic so it kind of freshens up the van both visually and um, the smell obviously. Um, one of the challenges of the van is that it has a fiberglass shell so there was no existing structure to mount the paneling to. So we had to go inside the van and we built a free supporting dome out of um, two by twos to hold the ceiling up. So up front we just framed around the existing windows. Um, you can see that on this side too there's a slider. Another slider on this side. Pretty simple electronics over here. We have our battery monitor and in the electronic compartment we have a couple of fuses. Uh, the alternator charges this vehicle so we've got the alternator charger fuse here, solar fuse here that goes to the solar charge controller. Uh, we have um, three fuses in so pretty simple. One thing about the RV manufacturers is they just put too many bells and whistles on there. Uh, the generator, of course, um, at some point stops working, 
and we've made this to be an off-grid van. So up on top, we've got a Renogy 175 watt solar panel. Um, you can see a little white uh, roof gland where the wires come out. So he is all set for camping in the outdoors to be self-reliant without being plugged in with the alternator charging the batteries and the solar charging the batteries. Well, thanks for coming along on this walkthrough with us. If you'd like a custom built van to your exact specifications, whether it's from 1991 or from the present day, we'd be happy to build it for you. So send me an email in my email listed below and I'd be happy to get out an estimate to you. For Eric and Jared with Narrow Road Van Conversions, Thanks, and we'll see you on the road.